In a modern home in Deer Lake are reminders of years of marriage, now precious memories. I miss her so much. Yeah, I can only imagine. Charles Sams is 93 now. His mind wanders between grief for his late wife Camille and a disagreement between the two the last year she was alive. She was upset because I, I learned, she didn't want me to lend them the money, but I said we can trust them. So I, I, that's why I never got him to sign anything, because he was such a nice g g guy and friendly. I, I thought, you know, he, he, and he's just going to church all the time. I figured, you know, he, he'll pay me back, but he didn't. He is Jason Lush, a now former RCMP officer and Sam's current neighbor. And he said he, he's going to have to sell his house or move because I can't afford to pay to make the payments. And so, so much so. So I said, well, I'll help you out. So in November 2020, Charles Sams wrote Jason Lush a check for $100,000. This is not in dispute. But when Sam says he asked for the money back, this was the response. He said, I can't afford to pay you anything. Constable Jason Lush filed a statement of defense in January. He says he was given the money as a gift. It was never meant to be repaid. And he says the money has been spent. Lush says he turned the money down at first, but Sam's persuaded him to take it. Lush says it was a thank you gift in appreciation for their friendship and the help he had given the elderly couple. I never ever said it was a gift, you know. Who's crazy enough to give $100,000 away as a gift? Lush turned down an interview request, but in a statement, his lawyer says his client is an upstanding member of his community and is innocent of any wrongdoing. Mark Mills wrote that Sam's statement that he is owed an unpaid debt is false and defamatory, and that Lush wants to proceed in court, but that Sam's hasn't advanced the matter. The conflict between the two neighbors sparked action elsewhere. At the RCMP, two investigations were launched, one criminal, one internal. No criminal charges were laid because the RCMP says there was insufficient evidence. The force says the internal investigation into an alleged breach of the RCMP's code of conduct was completed, but Lush resigned before the matter was dealt with. Lush says it was a medical retirement unrelated to this situation. The province's top Mountie says police officers are held to high ethical standards. Quote, when those standards are not met, employees are dealt with through stringent processes in place to address the issues and to help ensure public confidence. Back on the West Coast, Charles Sams wasn't aware of any of that. He's now focused on one thing. He wants his money back. I'm so upset all the time about it. Having it, I can't sleep yeah. night after night. Arianna Kelland, CBC News, Deer Lake.